He had 14 top fives, one fifth, three thirds, four seconds. Six times he was a top ball player. Twice he ran a, a, a trophy dash winner at Roseville and Stockton. He had six feature wins, four coming at Madeira, two at All-American Speedway. He finished overall third at the Shasta uh, Western Scale, or excuse me, MMRA uh, Shasta Race. And he holds track records at Stockton and the Bull Ring. The other thing that Dylan holds, uh, ironically, um, common to Patrick, is they're both quarter major champions, national champions. Dylan in a different division. Uh, in 2007 on the dirt, Patrick in the, in, on the pavement in the dirt in 2007 in senior high. It's so pretty cool to see all these kids capitalize on the racing experience. So congratulations, Dylan. Um, I'd like to start out by thanking uh, the Lord for blessing me with the opportunity to race. I would also like to thank two amazing people that got me to where I am today. And that is my dad, Glenn Hutchison, and Tony Caputo. Without them, I would not be doing what I love, which is racing. They spent hours and hours of hard work making my dream possible, and I really appreciate everything they've done through the years. I would like to thank my mom and grandpa and the rest of my family for the great support throughout the season. I would like to thank my awesome crew for how much work they put into this championship season. My dad, Tony Caputo, Joey Wise, and Jim Hart. Those guys are probably the best four guys I could ask for going through this season. Their tireless effort and dedication is what has allowed us to have a great season, and after that last race, all the time, money, and preparation we had all put into it had finally paid off. Next, I would like to thank all my outstanding sponsors, starting with Johnny Walker Performance Center and JW Sweet Rides. Because of them, the car always looked great, after every race and after every crash. I would like to thank Rex Engines and Racing Engines for their fast and reliable engines. Three of the last four WRSR Baby Grand Championships have been won with the Rex So uh, if you want to win a championship, probably the smart car. Right there. I can make a talk to my player. Um, I also want to thank Allen's Cabinet and Fixture, Paul Valley Tow, GM Construction, and Caputo Race Car Bodies for all their generous help and support. I want to thank WSRA and Bill Hill for promoting this great series. He put on an excellent traffic series that impressed many of the tracks that we went to. WSRA was always very organized, and they put a lot of hard work into how races would be set up and what tracks we'd race at. There's no better organization than WSRA Race Car, and I'm proud to serve as their champion. I want to thank the two tech officials, Josh and Jason. They were always very organized and professional in how they did things. They were very smart and always made sure the cars were legal. I want to thank Rick Popper, Ken Brooks, and Mike Ray for making sure the racing was clean, fair, and exciting. I want to thank, I would also like to thank Mike Sandoval for this night, nice banquet facility. I want to thank all the drivers for their competitive and clean riding for giving me a very tough, yet still successful year. The Baby Grands always put on an exciting race the fans, for the fans and the crew members. Jonathan Hale, a Camping World Rush driver, Justin Henry, a NASCAR late model driver, and Josh Gomes, a NASCAR late model, or Jacob Gomes, a NASCAR late model nation, Rookie of the Year, were all WSRA Baby Grand champions. So next year, I plan on racing late models, and from there, I'll just go for racing days. Woo! Thank you. Woo! Thank you. 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 Thank his commitment to being patient and not letting his head spin around and keep it underneath him is why he's up here as a champion because he was he was definitely committed throughout the year to ensuring that his finishes were the best they could be and never got rattled accordingly. You know, as you saw the story, as I read off the stats, uh, he was up towards the front pretty much every week uh, in the top four. Uh, I think one time, you know, he slipped back and. You know, I'm watching him work his way from eighth to ninth, and patient, 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 and it paid off. So congratulations, Dylan, and congratulations, Patrick, on your championships. And I just want to say congratulations to all the uh, competitors. Uh, 2009 was uh, uh, 
great year of racing, uh, learning each other's ways, if you will. And uh, to that end, I want to talk about a few accomplishments. But before I do that, before you leave today, I want you to make sure you get a piece of pie and some coffee or soda. Because I can assure you, I do not need 12 pies at home tonight. So please take advantage of getting me some pie. But I want to go through some 2009 accomplishments and talk about 2010. So if you will uh, indulge me for a few minutes, I will talk about those two topics. 2009 represented a transition year from Roger Morris to Mike Brandt and myself. A year ago, I stood here and laid out a number of things that we would do different in 2009. And I'll outline some of these things that, that we accomplished in 2009. You should also know I spent about 10 to 15 hours minimum each week administering the affairs of WSRA. That typically starts with the results of the race on, Monday, on Sunday morning. Uh, and then taking phone calls at 8 a.m. on Monday morning from all of you. 